I use the KDS glue that looks like this. You can also find it off of Amazon. And it comes in a pack of six or how many you need. And I also use the um bt the bt art box false nails um the same as i use on my fingers i use on my toes so let me show y'all how i get it done so first i open the box and i size my toes so i'm going to take this first one this this first the largest one um in the box as you can see, it fits from corner to corner. So this is the one I will be using. So I am going to take my glue and I am going to dab it. And I'm going to press and hold. I'm gonna to continue to repeat the steps on all other four of my toes. Usually all my smaller toes, I end up using the same nail. I just size them. You can clip them with your clipper. You go back in with your foul. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, you go in with your foul. I usually have my foul to go up and down just like this because it gives it a crispier shape. So that's what I'm going to do. Now that I have completed that step, I am going to take my acrylic no burn acid free primer from Mia Secret. And I'm going to place it on each of one of my toes, just like that. After I have primed my toes, they are ready for the acrylic that I have chosen. Today, I will be using my cit uh, Citrus by Mia Secret. You can also find this on Amazon. It comes in a pack of six. It doesn't come individually, so you have to buy the whole pack just to get this one, or you can go to your local beauty supply and it might have it in there. You can check and see, but I ordered mine off of Amazon. Acrylic that you have chosen. You will need an acrylic brush. I also got this one off of Amazon. I've used it for a while, so it's a little crusty dusty, but it's one of my favorites, so I'm going to use this one today. Um, you will also need your monomer. 
which is me a secret i try to keep the same um products together so we can work well together and you will need a little cup like this or tub or whatever you want to call it to put your monomer inside of it all right so i'm going to open this and we're going to get right into the video my citrus and i have my clear here because you don't want to use too much color you don't want to use too much color um acrylic on your toes you want to top it off with a little clear so your color can last so let's get right into it I had completely skipped that step but it is okay it is not too late you can go back in and do the last three it is not going to mess up a thing so that's what we're going to do we're going to blend the nail tip All right, so now that I have my color placed on each of my toes, I am going to go into my clear acrylic and I am just gonna do one layer on each toe.
Now that you have completed all steps and have placed your clear on top of your um, color acrylic, you're going to go in and you're going to reshape it. after you have completed all those steps you're going to need um either you can do a gel top coating or you can use a regular top coating but i prefer gel so i have my lamp here my gel lamp i am going to place my top coat top it off by beetles um i got this also off of amazon i'm going to open it and i am going to polish my toes. to the side and I am going to get my cuticle oil and it is um with lemon it smells really good you can get this from anywhere your local beauty supply where I got mine or you can get yours off of Amazon um your choice so what I'm going to do after I have completed all those steps I do not want to walk around with crusty toes so I am just going to polish around my toes with my cuticle oil After I have polished around my toes with my cuticle oil, I am going to rub it in. I'm going to rub it away from the toe. I do not want the oil on, type of, on top of my toes, so I am going to rub backwards and rub in a different direction from my toenail. This is what you get. This is your completed look. This is how you do your the uh, do it yourself acrylic nails at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on those notifications so you can get the next video that I upload. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next vlog.